Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM release. Xiaomi Hyper OS ported ROM. This is, you can see the device specifications. Now into detail information specifications. You can see here OS version and Android version is 14. There's the Easter egg you get. Kernel user is 4.14.334. No kernel has been used. There's the version updates and we'll go back here and start with the settings interconnectivity options are available this is useful once you have all xiaomi ecosystem more connectivity options vpn private dns and other things wallpapers and customization here personalization you get this lock skin effects i already made a dedicated video on that in the shots check out that you can customize the wallpaper from here I'm taking a little bit of time here because it's a pre-up applied wallpaper you can even apply the filters here as you can see matte finish also is there matte effect as you can see i have just enabled that you can make it apply here and turn on the always on display then only this lock screen customizations work and this is the two themes available and wallpapers again these live wallpapers are not getting downloaded for now any reason i don't know icons again there are no themed icons here as we see in some of the different ROMs, the new best always on display plugin. As you can see, there are plenty of presets are available. And effects here for notification, you can choose the effect and font again. It is like this. Oops, it went to Excel size. Now it will get increase. Yeah, display size. Actual font size has been increased. Let me disable that. Make it large at least. It was a small before. Anyhow, I'll make it large. Okay. It takes a little bit of. Okay. Now it has been adjusted. Now moving into lock screen again here. You have default double tap to wake or turn on the device that's present. Pocket mode and launch camera are available. Mm -hmm. Notification control center again status bar. As you can see, notification shade you can change here. Battery indicator and control center style. Obviously, we keep the new version. Mm -hmm. And smart device controls. If you have anything, you can enable there home screen again status bar and again as you can see with app drawer and some of the other things you can enable or disable app vault i have enabled that and new unlock animation animation fast i have kept relax also you can keep and rounded widgets old widget provider and icon size again this revert back to wallpaper settings blur in open folder and system navigation again gestures is the default thing i'm using uh, display and brightness again you get light mode and dark mode here after applying dark mode this how it looks it's too bright i think so yeah i can say i'm not seeing dark mode but it is pitch black condition again you get sunlight mode and auto brightness sensor other settings you can see color scheme again i kept saturated if you want you can keep warm also refresh rate again 90 120 both the options are available in this particular room sound and vibration it remains similar to any other custom rooms do not disturb mode you can customize some of the things here schedule you can even schedule them out haptic feedback strength is not given but you can enable out disable sound effects again presets are given no dolby atmos or anything like that these are the additional sound settings moment of fingerprints unlock here screen unlock fingerprint unlock here you get option both press and touch as you can see and some of the other options and in the face unlock also there is an option to that uh, stay on lock screen after unlocking let's see the fingerprint unlock first as you can see just tap the fingerprint button it will get unlocked if you want you can even keep the press button as you can see it's very quick now let's see the face unlock as you can see it's even quicker than the fingerprint unlock it's cool to unlock your smartphone using that now moving into privacy and security settings these are the settings revision specific some are battery again you get four different types of battery modes here performance is used during the game and battery saver and ultra battery saver i don't think so you will use the ultra battery saver these are the battery settings mea and screen time is given and here accessibility menu in additional settings is given wallet and payments it's also a reason specific i think sir so it's not available as of now for indians gesture shortcuts again you get plenty here you can assign them using some gesture actions quick ball i'll turn it on as you can see 
even quick ball there are some presets you can add the desired uh, button for desired application open or shortcuts you can make 100 mode is also working fine here floating windows it's also going to work fine you just see once you flash the ROM you see this options memory expansion up to 6 GB is given additional app features are also included here these are the actual settings here now you see some of the uh, this magic is pre-rooted this ROM is that's the bug here it's not getting downloaded we can't even uninstall that uh, because of that safety status will get failed I'll show you in the gallery now uh, I'll come back here I'll start with the Geekbench scores yeah 744 is the single score and multi score is this one and you get this gallery feature 1791 is the multi score and 100 threat test CPU throttling test results are on the screen you guys can see it's started to 83% of its max performance which is quite good there are no red lines here and see this one fails because of magics and here sequential read and write and minimum read and write you can see and with graph and this is the anti benchmark results temperature is and battery percentage drop this is me turbocharging support is available in this particular ROM now app opening times dialer here you get you guys can see here let me dial this out yeah video, direct video call feature is available here even you can record the calls it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call which is a handy feature and very much required for most of them and this is the volume panel and i want to show this uh, dynamic island kind of settings here let me zoom in you can see better and this is the lock screen what i applied using that hyper os settings call recorded i will come back here yeah now let me zoom in little bit here yeah now you can see better i think so yeah now we'll change to not the power button volume yeah let's make this silent mode now you can see the yeah silent mode is on as you can see on the top of the screen this is kind of dynamic island but it's in full screen that's quite good implementation in my opinion and we'll see the this is one more bug guys in the play store if you found something to install it will not get installed there's a bug how i ins install these apps just go into app information and clear the data and install all the apps every time you need to do that that's a major bug in this particular ROM but the smoothness in the UI is next level here compared to the previous hyper OS ROM whatever i made for poco x slash nfc that was not that good in terms of experience but it was good in uh, safety and status passed and uh, these kind of bugs were not available but here we have a little bit of bugs but the ROM stability is very good guys very good and it is stable enough and also the performance will be seeing in the PGMA very soon and camera application here it is loaded with the features and this is a actual hyper OS camera application you get up to 4k 30 fps as you can see these are the new features kind of look here this is new look actually as you can see this is the options you get in this particular from photo mode night mode and even this are the more options available in the camera application it's loaded with the feature again let me show you this weather application now i have installed this yeah let's skip any of the location let's skip kolkata yeah if you are from Kolkata watching this video, let me know in the comment section guys and in the settings again you can edit this. These are still available but in the Indian ROM I think so we don't get this option. Let's see. This was actually a Android 14 based ROM only. Here we get different options. As you can see this is the quick settings toggles we get. Automatic brightness sensor is also working fine dark mode is also working fine here no problem regarding that and if you want to edit the section you can do that also as you can see and dialer again you get these are the app opening times you can see messaging app and chrome and now again camera shutter speed is also fine gallery also the it's in memory actually this is the apps are still in the memory ram management is also kind of good i can see these are folders and we'll open this one Geekbench taking little bit of time to open the app anyhow 
and DRM information is also for some reason it's not displaying its results uh, what I really liked is the performance let me show you even though we get what options we get let's say here See the gameplay and what all the graphic settings here. In the graphic settings, you get smooth plus ultra only, no high FPS count. Let's see how it handles the gameplay. We'll come back now and here in the gameplay I really like the gameplay but if it would have add 90 FPS that would be better in my opinion. Let me turn this torchlight. For similar kind of videos subscribe to my channel guys I definitely recommend but if you are into that that safety status is not getting passed then it's okay then you can flash this particular one. These are iOS style of recent apps. Thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now.